The Oscar this year for short documentary was given to a film called Period, End of Sentence, about women's periods in a rural village in India. And uh, the director of this short documentary is an Iranian, Reka Zehtabchi, who went up on stage to receive the prize. And she said, I'm not crying because I have my period uh, right now, but because a film about periods has actually won an Oscar. And I think that is quite a historical thing, isn't it? Absolutely. 21st century, we have to uh, discuss this. And this is an issue that uh, um, women face everywhere. Uh, Society is faced a a everywhere. And the film is about the uh, rural sort of village in India, um, how women are struggling uh, to deal with the issue, with this issue, and uh, trying to unpick various aspects of this, uh, uh, you know, this taboo effectively uh, in society. And it opens up this discussion, and I think this is a great moment. And it's uh, 8th of March is coming as well, and it's apt and, uh, and the right moment. And this issue is not just in India, it's many other countries as well, when you, when you look at it. Yeah, I mean, in India, of course, there are uh, all of these incidences where just recently a 12-year-old girl committed suicide because uh, she had blood stains on her clothes and the teacher embarrassed her in front of the class. And we've heard of women in Nepal, for example, being... Uh, relegated to huts uh, while they had their period uh, m many of them suffocate in those huts with their children uh, and of course we know it's not just Hinduism um, as in India for example it's also other religions Judaism uh, sections of Buddhism um, Orthodox Christianity and of course Islam where you know women um, can't pray, they can't go to the mosque, um, they can't have sex, they can't even get a divorce, for example, yeah, while they've got their period. Absolutely, and men are supposed to sort of keep away from yeah. them and, and effectively uh, distance themselves, and they are unclean, uh, and you could see that in various religions and various societies as well. And you've had this throughout the history, and it's still with us, uh, unfortunately, and that's something that it needs to be needs to be challenged. The challenge is there. I think one of the aspects of this is the language and how language is used to uh, uh, to describe this and challenging the language because the uncleanness of it, the uh, um, uh, poisonous nature of this is is always in the language. Even normally when people are uh, describing period, the, alert, uh, the red alert to, you know, anything red, anything sort of dangerous, mm. you know, it's a time of the month, you know, that you, you're not supposed to sort of uh, uh, you have to keep away. Even normal, whether even people who are not religious, you'll see the very uh, ingrained in, in, in the culture, the misogyny of the language. I think language is one of those aspects that, aspects that needs, uh, uh, needs to be challenged uh, uh, here. And you can see uh, um, in, with the reports of the, uh, uh, about the prize given to the documentary, uh, uh, one of the uh, people who were supposed to vote for uh, the films they refused to vote for this for this uh, um, short documentary uh, and his argument was that this was a woman talking about period uh, and uh, for men this icky. is icky and so that ickiness is the language ingrained, uh, ingrained in many many uh, yeah, so it's societies. not just India yeah. and Iran and absolutely. so on it's also in Western society absolutely and you, you could see that every day uh, in, in European and uh, North American countries as well yeah and, and I mean this taboo is quite um, important for women and girls' lives because it is a question of life and death in many situations because this sort of exclusion, uh, you know, the sort of uh, relegating, segregation, the humiliation, all of it that is wrapped around something that's very, very natural uh, is something that needs to be challenged. And, and unfortunately, you know, you would think we're living in the 18th century or something that we still need to have these discussions. But obviously, clearly, we do. And I think given that it is 8th March coming up soon, International Women's Day protests are coming up, this issue is quite important. You know, saying that this isn't taboo, saying that having your period isn't being dirty or shameful, uh, and it's a completely natural thing. And uh, this reflects itself, uh, Mariam, in various uh, uh, levels in society, even, you know, products designed for a sanitary town, mm -hmm. you know, look at the language. When you go into supermarket and you look at the packaging, everything is sanitized, there's no mention of period and, and when his towel is blue 
and it's uh, everything is designed not to touch the sensibilities of uh, of um, society. Um, we don't know what that is. We know what that is. Uh, these are exactly the same people who um, are misogynists. The core of it is, and and that's part of a chal uh, challenge to this taboo. Uh, look at the education system for young people. How uh, girls and boys are already uh, been educated in sort of not discussing it mm -hmm. and being completely ignorant yeah. of, of yeah. this issue. So, and that's another aspect. Yeah, I mean, I remember when I got my period when I was 11, I had no idea what it was. And I, I, I thought I had cut myself or something. And again, it wasn't something that was taught in schools in Iran then. And I know there's this constant challenge, isn't there, with, uh, you know, conservative parents and in many societies where this sort of uh, education about your body, about sex, all of these things are still taboo. Even in European countries, you know, there's a fight going on with parents that are trying to stop these sort of educational things taking place in schools. And so it's, it's an important taboo to break for every society. And it's important for women to feel very comfortable with their periods and also to recognize that it's completely natural, there's nothing shameful in it. Since it is International Women's Day coming up soon, Sadia Hamid and myself, we've done an action to break the taboo uh, of periods, that it's dirty, that it's something that it should be embarrassing or shameful. And uh, as a criticism as well of Islamic states, religions, and uh, the sort of institutionalized misogyny that looks at it unfavorably uh, uh, and, and puts pressure on women, secludes them, excludes them, and tries to segregate them, and girls as well. Yes, uh, amazing action again, uh, uh, Mariam and Sadia, and I think this is something everybody needs to support. It's for uh, um, uh, health of society, uh, men, women, girls and boys, young people, all to, everybody needs to participate to break this taboo. Yeah, onwards towards 8th March, International Women's Day, breaking the taboo about periods, full stop.